Newgrounds is a social media website and company created in 1995 by Tom Fulp. The site hosts user-made cartoons, music, games, and artwork. The site has acted not only as entertainment, but also as a launching point of many artistic careers and endeavors. In this video, I want to cover the lineage of Newgrounds and where it is today, as well as the tremendous impact it has had on internet culture. Tom Fulp created a fanzine for the game system Neo Geo in 1991 called Newground. The fanzine was published through Prodigy, an early internet company that sold hosting services to web publishers. In 1995, Tom created his own website called Newground Remix. The site gained a significant audience in the summer of 1996 when Tom created the games Club of Seal and Assassin. When Tom created the sequels to the games, he wanted to create a separate website to host them. He called it Newground Atomics. In 1998, Tom introduced a Flash front page on Newground Atomics, as well as the game Teletubby Funland. Later that year, Fulp was contacted by Inside Edition about doing a segment on Assassin, and decided he needed to give his online creations a name that would stick, settling on Newgrounds. Newgrounds' notoriety increased through a copyright infringement dispute with the BBC over Teletubby Funland, which was renamed Teletubby Funland as a result. In 2000, Tom added a chat room, a message board, and a portion of the site for user-submitted content called The Portal. According to Wikipedia, the world's most trusted source of information, in the years that followed, the dot-com bubble had collapsed and Newgrounds struggled to stay afloat while other entertainment websites soon went out of business. Ad revenue was slow to come in and hosting equipment needed to be upgraded as servers could not support the traffic. In 2002, a friend of Fulp's overhauled the site's PHP infrastructure to improve its slow performance and Troma, the web host, allowed them to upgrade their servers, although their affiliation came to an end in 2003. Hosting costs overall were significantly reduced once hosting was switched to a different bandwidth provider. The audio portal and multi-authorship system were introduced in this year, and the termination of the Troma contract gave Fulp's team full control of Newground servers, which ultimately resulted in moving them from Troma's original placement in New York City to a facility in Philadelphia. That was a fucking mouthful. Everyone and their aunt has seen the new Manuma dance video, right? Well, it was one of the first viral videos on the internet and was originally posted on Newgrounds in 2004, one year before YouTube was created. This video brought a lot of traffic to the site, and in 2005, Fulp made two guest appearances on Attack of the Show. Between 2005 and 2007, the Newgrounds staff focused on site redesign, implementing updates to the Flash and audio portals, giving users their own user pages, launching the Newgrounds store, and an API toolset that would allow ads in-game and within Flash content, allowing creators to earn money. In 2009, Newgrounds launched the art portal in a very basic form, and was being improved until its full launch in February of 2012. Currently, Newgrounds is ranked 4,486 on Alexa.com. Over the past few years, Newgrounds has seen a steady decline in popularity relative to its former success. Even though the site itself has become less popular, the lasting impact it's had on the internet is incredible. Many artists, such as the members of Sleepy Cabin, accredit Newgrounds as the launching point of their careers. Newgrounds was and still is a way for artists to work together as a community to improve their skill and to produce content while sharing ideas and learning from each other. An artist from Newgrounds named Dan Paladin teamed up with Tom Fulp in 2003 to create the game studio The Behemoth. They produced Alien Hominid, Castle Crashers, Battleblock Theater, and are currently working on Pit People. Newgrounds is also credited in Super Meat Boy and The Binding of Isaac. I could sit here for hours showing you all the artists who have come for Newgrounds, but uh, I want to keep this video short, so I'm going to end it here. If you want to hear more insider information about Newgrounds, I would recommend listening to SleepyCast. I made a video about who they are, and you can check it out if you want, but make sure you check out their channel as well.